Oh. Good morning, sir. Right, what's up? Some prank calls take me literally five minutes yeah. to do. Yeah. And some things, well, this is not a prank call, and this has taken me seven months. Jeepers. November 25, 2008 is where it all started. So you've saved all your money, you've packed the car, this is something you've been looking so forward to. We're all going on a summer holiday, no more working for a week or two. Have you ever booked a holiday apartment from the newspaper classifieds or the gumtree.co.za website? And it looks like a great deal, only to find that once you have paid your deposit, you never hear from that person again. You, my friend, have just been scammed. You're not the only one. It happened to me, and it happened to this guy. Okay, basically, uh, this guy, we advertised on country, right, for this place in Belito. Yeah. Okay, he actually said it's available for 1000 to 1200 a night. Yeah. So I said, okay, I want it. I must do a cash transfer into his account uh, via EPSA account. If I don't do it via EPSA, I must pay 1200 rand. Mm-hmm. So I got an EPSA account. I had done a cash send. Apparently, a cash send and... So, so now you've, you've already made the deposit? Yeah, done. You already got the money out. Then I tried phone him again after this to contact me with, with, with directions and stuff. He just disappeared off the face of the earth. So this poor guy has booked the apartment and paid the deposit to secure it. The exact dates he booked for was the 26th of December 2008 until the 5th of January 2009. Now at that time, this scam artist was going by the name Bertus Lombard. I call him the following day looking for accommodation over those exact dates. Hi, hello. Uh, good day, I'm looking for Bertus. Speaking, sir. Hi, it's your Deshni. Yes, sir. I'm phoning about uh, Belito accommodation. Yes. Um, for 26 December to 5th of January. Yeah. Uh, is it still available? I just had to check it with you, sir. Okay. You want to go in on the 26th? 26. I know it's peak season, so... Can you book out what day? The 5th of January. Let me just check for you, sir. Okay. But it's available at this stage, yes. I can help you with those days. Oh, yes. fantastic. Out here in the field I found Well, the deposit for, for such a long time is going to be 2000 When you select your payments... Mm-hmm. You will notice, maybe you noticed this before, you will see there's a, a new uh, new uh, select uh, option, which is Cash Send. Cash Send allows customers to transfer cash from their own check or savings account to anyone around the country. The recipient can then just visit one of many ATMs to withdraw the sent cash without needing a bank card or account. All you need is the reference number and the access code, which is sent to them via SMS. But if you're sending it to a pay-as-you-go number, that money is totally untraceable. At this point, I'm convinced it's a scam. I get in touch with Captain Dennis Audre from the South African Police. Look, we need to get a, a warrant. Yeah. Um, and then I need to just look up and see how long. And if we first initially find out it's in Durban, Joburg, Pretoria, wherever, then I need to organize uh, a team to be ready. Okay. To start tracking this guy down. So where is this guy in South Africa? Or oh, do you live in, in Durban? And then they say, I'm 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 staying in Belito itself. Hey, he's talking all of the crap, eh? Hey, total dude. And it's he the same. He told me he's from I think he stays in Mamzun Toti. A couple days go by. Captain Dennis Audrio, where is this man? Down in the Cape, in Cape Town. In the Cape. And how did you find that out? Um, whack it. I don't want to give out those details. A few days later, the trail goes cold. He's ditched that SIM card. He's obviously made enough money off this one advert. So he's pulled off the advert and that number 
is no longer available. So, how do we find him? Two weeks go by. Okay, this afternoon I was uh, surfing around Gumtree. Hi. Looking at adverts that looked similar, I mean, sentence structure and grammar errors and just general wording. Uh-huh. And I found one. I sent the guy an email and he's since responded. Uh, but now the guy's name is Peter Bosch. So I'm wondering if this is the same guy, just under a different alias. So I called him. Hi, uh, hello. Hello, Peter. Uh, hello, can I help you? Yes, hi, Peter Bosch. You speak to Peter, that's great, yes? Hi, Peter. Um, I sent you an email with regard to the apartment in Belito. Yes, yes sir. What can I do for you? Um, Peter, the pictures that I saw on Gumtree, the, that, that's the unit, hey? Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the photos attached to the adapt of the unit, yes. It was taken about uh, three, four weeks ago. Wow, it looks beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm actually, I'm, I've got so many emails. Um, in, uh, and I've got a meeting now today from 2 o'clock to 5 o'clock. And I was just thinking now, I wonder when I will get through all these emails. But, um, uh, you know, the people who obviously do them uh, effort to phone, like you obviously stand always first in the line for a place. That is the same guy. Uh, whack it. Yo. Can I offer you a job in the cops? After a couple more weeks, he did the exact same thing in the trail when cold. I searched again on Gumtree. Now he was coming up under a different alias by the name of Thomas Schmidt. Hi, hello. Hello, is that Thomas Schmidt? Yes, sir. Hi, how are you, sir? No problem, sir. And of course, he's also Bertus Lombard. Hi, hello. Uh, good day, I'm looking for Bertus. Speaking, sir. And he's also Peter Bosch. Hi, hello, can I help you? Yes, hi, Peter Bosch. You speak to Peter, that's great, yes? This man is currently wanted on 85 criminal complaints. We were hot on his tail, but over the Christmas period, he scammed a lot of people. Some of them went to the newspaper, and awareness was raised regarding this scam. He has since gone underground. Now we need your help. We have a photograph taken at an ATM. Police are looking for this man who they believe can assist in the investigation. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Check out the photo in today's newspapers. The Citizen, The Star, The Built, and The Cape Argus. The picture is also on the crimeline.co.za website, as well as highfelt.coza and kfm.coza. If you recognize the man in this photo, recognize the voice you heard, please, we need your help. SMS your anonymous tip-off to Crimeline 32211. That's Crimeline on 32211. The cops are waiting.